Hello everyone and welcome to the vlog. Today we are doing a dedicated screen print vlog, but that among a couple of other things because we are also getting ready for an upcoming sale this specific Saturday. So if anyone is in the Providence area, you are all welcome. I will be selling my art outside. I am so, so excited. I'll be having more details about that later on in this video, but if you wanna know specific details, you can read the description box below and I also have it on my Instagram right here. But today we're gonna go and just do my screen print homework. Obviously I got homework to do. Normally you guys know I kind of go like crazy when I print things because I print way too many of them And I didn't actually know what to do with them until now because I will be selling my screen prints this Saturday I'm gonna have a video coming up of me like actually preparing for this stuff But I just want to show you guys for now while it's still relevant. These are all the things that I am planning on selling Yeah, we're gonna go screen print and today I'm gonna make a bunch of extra copies so that I can sell them as well And I'm very very excited about it fit check for screen printing always nice to have a tank top I've realized because like baggy shirts really get in the way you know but yeah let's go ahead and go screen print I am excited because I think this design that I did is really really cute so this is what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna be doing half of it today and half of it tomorrow because I only have two screens so let's go ahead and go Woo! oh my god look my socks match my fit so welcome to studio. Today we are printing some little orange guys. So I mixed up my couple layers of paint that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two of them today because I have two screens. So I'm only able to do two emulsions at a time. Here I am just preparing some stuff. So this is a sheet of acetate, which is just like a sheet of plastic and I'm cleaning it off from the last design that I did. And here are the acetates that I got printed this time. So basically we're doing an emulsion process. I designed these digitally and then I got them printed on acetate. And now we're going to just use a machine and get it onto the screen screens basically and there was actually a mistake here while I was designing it and I meant to fill this all in so I'm just using some black paint and my finger because I didn't have a brush to fill it in so I did the whole emulsion process off camera because I can't bring a phone into that room because the screen will mess it up but we're gonna do the white layer first so like I said today we're gonna do two of the layers the first layer is white so basically however many layers of white that I decide to paint is how many prints will come out so I ended up making a lot a lot of prints but for now we're just gonna do the white and here is the first one it came out pretty good looks like how it's supposed to look and this part is super easy the first layer is always the easiest so i was honestly having a great time just vibing living my best life the only problem was that for some reason today all of the drying racks were in use and not even by people like in studio like they just left their stuff there so i was not able to use it so all of my prints are going on the floor but you know what that's okay because sometimes in art you gotta rough it and this is just how it be you know so i printed all the layers of white and i did more than just blue paper but as you can see here are some of the sheets that i'm doing right now and then later i'm going to start stacking sheets on top so you can't exactly tell how many i'm making right now but after these were dried i'm going to pick them up and we're going to just go over the whole thing again but with a different color so i had a big stack by now so i knew how many i was getting into but i'm just picking them up off of the ground so i can get a new stack ready to go and then we're going to print the next layer which is going to be an orange layer and so this layer is going to give it some more semblance of what it's actually supposed to look like because we'll be halfway through and it'll make more sense so i have two different colors of orange here i have a lighter one and a darker one and i started with the darker one for some reason i should have started with the lighter one but all of these are going to be varying in color a little bit and that's just how i like to do my prints because sometimes i feel like i prefer it to be one way or the other and i'm using an acetate for this layer to fully register it which basically means to make sure that the layers are stacked on top of each other in the correct space so that is the plastic that i'm flipping back and forth to just kind of see where things are going to line up and this is is my method of registration that I've liked the most. I know there's other ways to do it, but this is the one that's worked the best for me as a beginner. But as you can see, here are some of the orange ones and you can see that I'm doing like a varying of how light and dark the orange color is. And then after a while, this is the full stack of how many that I did. As you can see, they are absolutely everywhere. We got some orange on orange and those actually are cuter than I expected. And we got some orange on blue. And so that's all I got to today. So I will see you guys tomorrow to do two more of the layers. So back to the video, I was just going out and there was actually a little food truck event today which was super cute and it's because we have a new president for the school. So we got some tickets for like free food and also this music was super good. I got some pokey and some other stuff. They had like a little donut truck here. So I got a lot of food and this is basically gonna be my lunch because 
first of all it's free second of all it's new so this is super super fun so we're gonna go back and actually make this a meal okay so this is what my desk looks like right now i didn't realize i was doing a food vlog but i have so much food here right now so we're gonna do one real quick but oh my god my desk is crazy right now but they look so cute oh my god we got some donuts these look so good i'm excited there are some food preparation that needs to be done i got some rice from downstairs because this poke actually only comes with like salad and i don't really like salad so we're gonna eat it with rice so because today is a nice spring summer day i have my my totoro chopsticks so we're just gonna combine these and make our own like poke bowl all the salad's gonna come out of course but if i can reassemble it to look like pokey again there we go that's better. So we got Pokey. And then also, I wanted to get their latte, but they were out of it. So I got their nitro cold brew. But the thing is, I actually don't like nitro cold brew. And I like sweeter coffee so i got a coffee milk from downstairs from my cafeteria and also a separate cup and this is how you hack food in college so i'm gonna pour out some coffee milk i'll do like halfway i don't know and then i'm gonna mix it together and see how it tastes yes it is getting there I'm just gonna pour a little bit more and now i have a completely different drink and now i'm gonna open this one pour the rest of the coffee milk in there and now we have two of them so i have my other straw and that's how i hacked my meal so that's how i hacked my meal and this is what i'm eating for lunch today and now i have two drinks thank you rizd for all of the free food today donuts and coffee and pokey woo Alrighty, everyone it is the next day so i stayed and printed last night until like 1 a.m i don't know why i stayed that long but i got a lot of work done so i finished like 50 percent of my prints i did the first two layers and now i have two more layers to do and then i'll be done so i think i can finish them tonight because right now it's only only 3.44. So we have like the whole day to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and go in right now and just work on them. I printed a bunch of extra ones for this specific sale. I've been doing so much to prepare as well. So I'm really excited to go in and finish this because, well, first of all, it's always satisfying to finish homework way before it's due, you know? I wanna get the ball rolling on my sale. I have like a bunch of stuff prepared already, but I'm doing a bunch more stuff. If you guys wanna see what I've prepared, I have my little whoa little shelving system going on i also made these yesterday they're little boards for like explaining what i'm selling so we have like little whale shark and flower cat stickers we have a flower cat sticker pack which is so cute we also have the clear baby bunny stickers and the gamer girl emotes and on top of all these boards that i had to make by hand i also decorated this cork board last night it's so cute oh my god so this is gonna be the stuff that i'm planning to sell i made a lot of progress on this last night and like honestly i really love how it came out i think it looks so good i had to mark up the prices for the glitter stickers just because of packaging and everything but i think this looks so cute ah i have all like my clear bunny stickers these are new these are like prismatic big hammy stickers we got my original gamer girl stickers these have been selling really well in general so this is like like my third restock on them i think and then we have my flower cat stickers and these are my absolute favorite don't count this one this is actually like the old version and this is the new one. Oh my god so cute i love the heart ones so much i cannot get over how much i love the heart one and of course i've been packaging a bunch of stuff as well so we have like a bunch of sticker packs these are my gamer girl ones we also have flower cat ones baby baby bunny ones just like miscellaneous we have a bunch of stuff we have three packs for the flower cat stuff so i'm super excited but let's go ahead and go and finish these prints so i can sell them this weekend and i can continue to get everything done so yeah i had class today but my class ended really early firstly and secondly i allotted time to go screen for anyway so i'm gonna take my coffee and we're gonna go ahead and head over i'm excited Alrighty, so second and final day in studio. I did my screens like I did last time, but I'm actually using screen filler right now to fill in some of the mistakes. This wasn't actually my mistake as it is, I think something wrong with either the screen or the emulsion, but sometimes when I wash stuff off, even though I use it on the lightest setting, it washes off some of the emulsion in this specific area. So I just use screen filler to patch it up. And also this part actually is my fault. I forgot to carve out the spaces for the capybaras. Real fact is that I forgot to print the brown layer first, but this is actually the only spot where they 
they overlap so I could just fix it with screen filler. Now I'm gonna open up some green and try to make the optimal green. And the colors I'm mixing today were a lot harder than the colors I was mixing yesterday because yesterday was just orange and white and there's nothing you can really do about white. But I was very picky about my green and I wanted it to look a very specific way. But this mixing process was quite complicated. But once I got it all figured out, we can now start printing. I had to even get the yellow off of the top shelf. So this is me putting it back. So I'm just making sure everything's registered with my acetate sheet again. And we're just making sure that it looks good. And the way I do the acetate sheet is basically you fold it on and then you make sure it's lined up and then you take it off. So sometimes I don't show that I'm taking the acetate sheet off, but you want to make sure that you're not printing back onto it. I'm just doing the same process as I was doing last time, which is just printing them and then putting each sheet on the ground and then getting a new sheet and then printing it again. And this just goes on over and over and over again. I just listened to a lot of music while doing this and just vibe in and it went by, I don't want to say it went by fast because honestly it didn't. This pretty much took up a good majority of the day that I was planning to be active, but all is good, you know? Yep, we got a lot of it done. So even though this is super tedious work, honestly, I prefer it and I might as well do it, you know? So here's a quick look at how the acetate works. You just make sure it's lined up and then you put the sheet down and then you do your little screen print. And this is a reenactment of screen printing because you want to do it this hard, not how gentle I was doing it with one hand. But here's a close up of how I'm doing it up close and personal. And this is the green color. This is one of the two different green colors that I did. I did a light green one, which is what you're seeing now. And I did a darker green one, which is in some of the other prints. So I like to vary the saturation of a lot of these because sometimes I like very milky pictures and sometimes I like very punchy colors. So it really just depends on what I'm feeling. And I want to make sure to have all those options because like I might as well, you know, because I'm already doing this. Yep, we're just going through making sure all of them get the green and it looks really, really good. So I really like how it's coming out so far. I think the colors are looking great and I'm very excited about how this one's coming out because also the last layer we're going to print are the capybaras and they're going to be so cute and brown and I love them. So we're just making sure that we're going to finish all of these prints up right now. And I actually did some gray ones that also looked really good, but here's what the studio looks like right now at this point. As you can see, I got my coffee there and then all of it is all over the ground because I don't have a drying rack. And these are actually stacks of like five. So there's actually a lot more on the ground than it looks like, but we're moving on to the last layer and I think it looks really, really good. So I'm very excited. We're just registering with the acetate sheet again. And now the last and final layer, the capybara layer, woohoo. So we're just going to print these on as well with the same method. And of course I had little corrections on this screen, but it does the exact same thing as the normal screens do. But obviously I'm just gonna make sure that each one of them is aligned. And so this is the brown layer, which is the darkest layer. So it also has a lot of my text for this poster, which I'm very happy about because I think everything came out pretty aligned and pretty good. So I'm quite pleased about that. But yeah, this is the last and final layer. I tried not to rush it because obviously I really want to. And every single time I'm lifting the screen up, it's kind of, the paper's kind of falling off of it. And that's because it's just getting kind of rippled from the big orange layer that I printed because it's so big, it made the paper kind of buckle. As you can see, here are all of the different ones. So this took me so long, but I'm going to show you the final results now and I'm very excited. So we're gonna go to the next day. Hello everyone. Okay, so it is the next day and these have been sitting in the dryer rack for 24 hours. So they're all done, but I think they came out literally so cute. I made like 60 of them. So the stack is huge. So I will be selling most of these at my sale this weekend, but I don't know, literally so cute. This is one of the ones on the gray paper that I didn't think I was actually gonna like that much. But someone in my class during crit recommended that I do it on gray and I love the way it looks. But here are some of the blue ones, another gray one. Um, I don't need to go through all of them because you get it, they look like this, but I think they came out so cute. So right now I'm going to work on packaging a couple of them so we have to trim them down to the right size and then put them in plastic sleeves and then they will be good to go but yeah i have so many of these so if you guys want one make sure to come to my sale this weekend because i don't think i'm gonna be putting these prints online so they will only be there but alrighty, so i have packaged up a few of them and i think they look so cute in their little sleeves that are so protected and good so the last thing i'm gonna do is add some stickers on them so these are just like some price stickers that i wrote up yesterday. I spent all of last night doing this, but these are some of the ones I did. And then I was preparing for my flower cap prints to arrive and I think they'll be here by tomorrow. I need to go to the mail room because I forgot to go yesterday, but these are um, for the flower cap prints. That's why they're in flowers. 
But yep, lots to do right now, so much to do. So let's go ahead and get these prints sorted. We have like misprints prints that are gonna go for $8 because they're just like awful. And then we have some 10 out of 10 prints that are gonna be $25. We have nine out of 10 for 20 and eight out of 10 for $18. And this is just basically like how well everything is done. So sometimes when you look at a print close up, you can see if there's any issues. So this one I would say is actually a perfect Print. So this one's gonna be a 10 out of 10. So I'm just going to take one of these, put it in the corner. I'll put it like right here. There's the price and I'm going to go through and label all of them and we'll be done. So this is how they all came out. I think they look super cute and I hope you guys enjoyed the process. If you're able to come to my sale this weekend, that'd be super appreciated. If not, I will be having another one in May that I will be announcing more of on my Instagram. So make sure to follow me there online. And thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.